is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a brand new two in one aew unmatched action figure review on the aew unmatched collection series number seven hook and Thunder Rosa figures. Now, Hook is finally in our collections, man. Been waiting on this figure for a very long time. Simply because it looks like it just feels good in hand. You know what I'm saying? It just looks like it's going to be a figure that I'm I am very impressed with. Can't wait to uh, can't wait to unbox him, get my hands on it, see what it's like. And then we also have Thunder Rosa, who is no stranger to the AEW line. We have seen multiple figures from her. And it should be an interesting take here as we look at her Shazam looking, looking attire. I don't even know what the hell that is. It's like black and yellow kind of. It kind of looks navy, but I think it is black and yellow, but it's looking good with the lightning. You know, she's very toyetic. But we're going to, of course, get into all those different things. But here are the figures, man. Very excited for Hook. And you guys know that Hook has a lot of figures coming soon, man. I mean, he has this version. He has a chase in the set, which is in cream. He has the two-pack coming with Danhausen, and then he also has the ringside exclusive. So all these are looking pretty damn good, man. I love the packaging, of course, on these as well. The silver and blue is always cleaner. I actually prefer the Unmatched Collection packaging compared to the Unrivaled rival packaging, but you have Thunder Rose on the side, Thunder Rose on the back looking good, rest of the figures in the wave. Don't know how we'll do it, we'll probably do Death Triangle together, and then I'll probably show CM Punk in another light when we show off the collection at some point. Stay tuned to the channel, man, I'm gonna be showing you guys the new office and like a bunch of boxes on the side. Patrons will probably get that first, but I look forward to a lot of those things, man, but before we can take a look at all these figures, man, we gotta crack these guys out of their packaging and find out what they're about, so with that being said, let's unbox these guys, take a look at them, and see what Hook and Thunder Rosa are all about. So here is Hook and Thunder Rosa out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing here. I do have my gripes, though. I do have my gripes, but I do like some of the stuff we have going on with these figures. Of course, we're going to dive into those things and detail them, of course. But what we're going to do is take a closer look at Thunder Rosa's accessories first, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Hook after we do so, man. Pretty good stuff. Can't wait to dive into it with you, man. Really excited to finally have a Hook figure. You know, I enjoy Hook's work. Pretty cool kid. I think he's got, you know, tons of room to grow and tons of room to become a better superstar, and I can't wait to see where he goes in the future, of course, but let's dive into these figures and find out what these guys are all about. All right, guys, so for Thunder Rose's accessories, you do get the two interchangeable head sculpts, you get the flag, and you get three pairs of interchangeable hands. So on top of being very toyetic, I mean, they load her up with some damn good accessories. Now for her straight-faced hair sculpt, hair sculpt, head sculpt, I think it looks pretty daggum good. I think it looks just like Thunder Rosa. I think, you know, the face paint looks good, lipstick looks good. Low-key, you could possibly use this for a Maria Canellis a little bit. I'm seeing a little bit of Maria Canellis in there, maybe repaint it, get a little stuff going on you might be able to put this on a maria canellis and make it work and then you have the other half which is the tongue out head sculpt and i think both of these look really good actually hair color face paint all of it looks really really clean so i think they did a good job here and she's very toyetic like we said you know the tongue looks good good sculpt and everything i think uh, i like the more expressive head sculpt but i can appreciate a serious face as well because you guys know that i always like to comment on my figures yelling and this one is yelling a little bit there but it still works i like both of these a lot so that gets the job done for me and then we also get this cloth flag, and it's half American, half Mexican. Colors are bright and vibrant. It is white on the back there, but that's pretty good. I think this is the second time we've gotten a flag with her, so maybe in the third, I don't know, but it is cool to have this uh, half and half flag. Pretty cool for, you know, displays and whatnot. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the rock and roll style hands, or, you know, the classic devil horn style hands, the thwipping hands, Spider Man style. You know, she could, you know, just shoot a web at somebody. And then we do get fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. And then lastly, she does have mic holding slash weapon holding hands. And none of the hands have finger paint on them, and I think that's accurate, so that's good. All right, guys, so getting into Thunder Rosa, again, we took a look at the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt, to, to be honest with you. I think it looks good. You know, all the sculpts is nice. The paint's nice. All those different things are nice. And then if you go down to the body, I like this attire, you know? It, it gives me, again, real comic book or, like, superhero vibes here with the black and the yellow and the lightning bolt and everything like that. I thought this attire was navy, but I guess it is black and yellow, or at least it is here. I don't know. I I want to say it was more navy in real life, though. I don't know, but nonetheless, you do have the sleeves in there. Big pegs. Need to get rid of those, but if you spin her around there, she does uh, have the cheeks hanging out just a little bit there, and then she does have the TR on the back, which is pretty cool, and then, uh, you know, all the lightning stuff going down. She does have her thigh tat right there at the, at the top of the hip, and she does have on the sculpted knee pads, which are pretty cool. We didn't see that on her last figure. We may have seen that on her blood and guts, but I never unboxed that figure. I still have it meant on cards, so here is the double jointed knee with the knee pads sculpted over. I think that's the the way to go a lot of the times but this is one of the instances where it works really well I think you got the knee pads you know it's not going to hinder it and when you bend the knee it's not going to hinder it either so I mean that's what more could you possibly want 
Then you have the kick pads with the lightning strikes, and then you have the gold and black shoes in there, which are pretty cool. I like this figure a lot, man. You know, Thunder Rosa has a ton of figures, or she had, you know, she has chase figures and stuff like that. But for this comparison, we're taking a look at her first figure in Unrivaled Series 9. And I can absolutely say I like the new one better. I think it's got more going on with it. I like the hair sculpt better. I like the colors. I like I like this one more. I definitely like this one more. I like the bodysuit and the sleeves rather than this top over here with like the black and gold. Even though this isn't bad, and I do like this figure, and I like this figure when we first got it. I think this one's better and more representative of Thunder Rosa, and I think it's just a better scale. Like, I, I don't know. I just dig the new one much better, and I think the skin tone's better. It's not as like flat. It has more life to it. Yeah, I like I like the new one much more, even though she has that damn foot sculpt that drives me nuts. It's because they're so damn small. It's like the Tay Conti or Tay Mello foot sculpt, and it just drives me up the damn wall, but I do like the new Thunder Rosa. I think it's fire. And then for Hook's accessories, you don't get as much as Thunder Rosa, but you do get a, a decent amount there. I would have liked to seen a cloth good or something like that, but I appreciate a good damn interchangeable head sculpt. Now, our first version is this version, which looks to be like his unique, like, you know, crazy style hair, and then we do have like the neater look here, so... You guys can see you have like the neater look and you have the crazier style and one thing i did notice is that the neater style does not have the correct size neck hold now i don't know if that's just a miss up with mine or if all of them are like that but you guys are gonna see when you try to put it on the body right here it's gonna sit way too low like he has no neck there so it should be sitting like right here and instead it goes all the way down because there's no hole there so that stinks but this one goes on good so the messy hair sculpt does go on there good, so that's good. It fits appropriately and all those things. But I am bummed out that that is too big there because now I can't use this head sculpt unless I mod it a little bit. But people have told me I look like Hook. Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. You can tell me down below. We also get his little necklace accessory, which looks really good. Nice silver paint on there. I don't know what the medallion is or anything like that. I couldn't tell you if it's accurate, but I know he wears a necklace. And I think it's supposed to be an S or something, but it looks, it looks pretty accurate, I'd say. And it looks good on the figure, and it gets all the jobs done, checks all the boxes, so that's good. And last but not least, we do have Mike holding hands with the white hand tape on there. And then we do have the fisted hands with the same thing. And they're painted well, and they have the same sculpts and everything. And they have skin tone pegs. So I think these do look like hand-taped hands. So yeah, we actually get correct interchangeable hands. All right, guys, so getting into Hook, I like this head sculpt a lot. The lightness is definitely there. Now, I will say it's a bit cartoony, you know, but I think it gets all the jobs done that you need it to. It's got the messy haircut on there. The sculpt on this is ridiculous. I think it just has a really good likeness to the character, you know, and I can't argue with that. It looks like the character. Got the necklace in there all the time. Tattoos, very unique torso mold for a hook here. I think it looks great. I do don't I don't like that we have pins still here because it takes up so much of the arms there, but all the tattoos look good, and like Hook, you have his nice Taz font in there with Hook and the bright orange. You get the sculpted, like, boxer-style shorts. Coming around, you got all his tattoos here on his arms and everything like that. Then you have the back of the figure there, and then you do have the upper arm tattoo here, and then you do have the green shorts here with the white wrist tape. And I want to say they showed this off at a dip in a different way, and I also want to notice that the thigh cut on this figure was pretty tight out of the packaging, so you may want to take some time to get that, but I like the unique sculpt here are these shorts, but I want to say they were sculpted a little bit differently in the render. I feel like they may be a little bit wide, but at the same time, I do like them and everything. There's the legs, and then you do have the eagle tat there, which looks good, and then we do have the white boots here, which I'm going to be honest, dude, I hate these damn boots. I hate the boots, man. I hate the boots. They're, like, very loose, and the feet are loose, so then, like, you try to, like, stand them up, and uh, there may be a way to, like, fix this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, maybe on surgery or something, but he's kind of difficult to stand up, and then, like, you get him flat foot and he wants to fall over and then like you have to adjust it and it's like a weird way to try to figure out how to adjust it I don't, I don't really know here you guys can see he's kind of leaning forward just a little bit there but he definitely doesn't stand as as solid as I would like him to but I do appreciate the figure standing there like when I get him standing there I'm like damn that's pretty cool and I enjoy this figure it's just my god some of these things drive me up the damn wall and then for your hook figure comparisons here is hook up next to Darby Allen and Taz and I feel like this figure is kind of big I don't know like look at this Undertaker man look Look at this Undertaker right here. Like, it's not like Hook's, like, bigger than him or something, but he comes all the... Like, just the scaling in general. It's just big, but I guess Jazz wears figures. That's just how they are. Like, God, I feel like they started off so hot in the in the scale department, and then the scale just kind of dropped off. Definitely need to adjust the scale somehow. 
I mean, Hook is six foot, so it's not like he's tiny or something like that. Like, I'm six foot, you know? So me and him would probably be about the same height, I'd imagine. Here's Seth Rollins. Look at Seth Rollins up next to this Hook. I mean, I know the, the hair's tall and whatnot, but there is the Hook up next to the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins, so you guys can kind of tell there. But I don't know, it's just like the proportions need to be adjusted or something like that. Am I wrong on that? You guys can let me know. But I, I like the Hook figure a lot. It's just, it's not perfect by any stretch, but I do appreciate and I do like the Hook. And I like Hook as a character in a wrestler so i want my hook figure to be damn good you know what i'm saying but this is certainly not the last hook we're gonna see and we're gonna get a lot more of them but i think that pretty much wraps up our two and one aew unmatched series seven hook and thunder rosa figures man my overall thoughts i'm kind of disappointed in the hook overall it doesn't feel as good in hand as i thought it would you know like a darby allen or something like that it doesn't feel quite as good as those figures but it's still a solid figure i am upset that like my boot swivel seems to be pretty loose and like the ankles on standing that figure up are a bit odd like getting him on this rotating base was a pretty big headache and then the thunder rosa figure her feet her feet are always small it's just the way she's sculpted but she's very highly detailed i love the sculpted on knee pads i think that is also a really good work because you don't have to worry about the articulation it's all built in there which is really nice i like the hook figure a lot i just am not as high on it as i thought i would be when we first saw it and so also my interchangeable head sculpt as you guys saw had the bigger neck peg and it would not or the bigger neck hole i should say and it wouldn't pop in there i've had that happen a few times i think it was the unmatched cody from series four i've had that happen a few times so sometimes i guess like they just don't fill in those head sculpts or i don't know how that happens but i'm gonna have to make some modifications to get that to work and i i like the messier head sculpt for hook anyway so it's not like a massive deal but i know you get if you're gonna throw in that head it would be nice to be able to use that and so i do i do like that we have interchangeable heads of course but it, it sucks when it's not cut correctly or whatever the case is out of the factory or whatever the deal is there and then the thunder rosa accessories the tongue out head sculpt's great i like that she comes with a straight expression she's a pretty good figure man i think she's probably one of the most toyetic females over there and that i mean that shows with all the figures she's got man she's a pretty big deal over there and i think this figure is pretty good i think this is probably i don't know if i like it more than her last figure i felt like her last figure was damn good this one's pretty good as well though she's very toyetic she's got like a comic book look almost so that is good as well. Hook looks nice. I like the way he feels. It's just not as good as I had hoped, but I would add Hook to your collection. Thunder Rosa, I guess it just depends on if you already have the last version or not. I mean, I think, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. It just kind of depends on what attire you like and, you know, all those different things, but I do appreciate both figures. I like them. If you want to grab them, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course, when shopping over there. Get in on all the stuff, but I look forward to other hooks just to see, you know, if they improve that or what it is about the boot swivel and all those things. It just feels a tad loose, as you guys could see throughout the video, hopefully. But that is pretty much going to wrap up this AEW Unmatched Series 7 review, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all these things down in the comment section below. I'd love to know where you stand on these. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our AEW Unmatched Series 7 Hook and Thunder Rosa figures, man. Huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, definitely click the link in the description below. I think my next Patreon giveaway over there is going to be crazy. You're not going to want to be able to miss on that. You don't want to miss out on that one. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys later. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never back down. We will not relent.